Hello, I'd like to show you the data types in Excel. Um, there have been two data types available to us since 2019, and I hadn't even realised what I could do with them. Um, there's been stocks and geography. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what you could do with geography to give you an idea. And the reason why I've been prompted to do this is because they've just released the information that they're going to have another 100 different data types. So it's quite exciting once I've started to dig into it. And I thought I'd demonstrate and show you what you can do with them. Hold on while I show you my screen. Here we go. So I clicked on London and I'm going to click on geography. And I get this little card here, which will add a column and extract the data about whatever I want into the next column along, which is amazing. So I am going to ask for the information about population first. And then the next one that I'm going to do will be who is the leader in that area. So not all data types have this information. If you see it in the card here, then you can add it. There's Sadiq Khan, who's the mayor of London. And um, I'll go for one other piece of information here. I'll say where in the world are they? What country, what county, things like that. So I'll, I'll go for this one. That's in England. Make that a little bit wider, ready. So whatever information there is available, and I think they're adding to this constantly, is going to come up. So if I did the same to these, if I just try and do them on bulk geography, yeah, lovely, it all fills in. So if you see there's a gap where it just says hash field, that means there isn't any of that kind of data. So it doesn't know who the leader is in Lisbon at the moment. So unfortunately, there's no data for that one. I'll just delete that and leave it blank. And um, I thought I'd tell you Washington, that's quite interesting as, as one. If I click just here on the card, this is the data card, you can see all the information there is about Washington. So you can go off and have a look at pictures about Washington. It knows a lot about Washington. Um, so there's populations. Look at this information. If you were interested in this about household income and rent, building permits. So I can only see this improving really for all the different um, types of data. The more information they put in, the more we'll be able to extract. So that is coming up from Wikipedia and places like that. Um, so really great information. Um, if I just show you some local towns to me. So these are ones that I did earlier. I'll just make these into a little table because much easier if you make them into a table. My table doesn't have headers. There we go. <laughs> I'll just give it a header. Um, so um, if I looked at Cardiff, for example, Cardiff in Wales, that's the information we've got available to us about that. So you could put in things like latitude and longitude. It gives you some description about the town as well or the city. Um, this is the town I come from here. So if I go into that one, you can see the population's just there. I'm quite impressed with this. So some of the new data types that they're introducing include things like food. Um, you'd be able to, for example, look to see uh, how many calories are in a piece of food, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, nutrients, things like that. That would be brilliant if you're interested in that. Um, there's films or Americans would say movies, uh, people, books, basically, 100 different data types so it's only going to improve isn't it so um the one i'm waiting for is nature i'd like to look at all the different cattle breeds there's space so lots of information about the planets and cities so um a great new feature well done excel team again and um i love the way that we're bringing it all into the spreadsheet so i hope you found that helpful i'm really looking forward to seeing the expanded uh, data types coming into my Excel. They're not quite there yet, but um, let me know when they come in, whether you find that useful, what you find useful. I'd really like your feedback on that.